Hey YouTube, um, this is my second video for Picks of the Year, this is from the last few days, it's a mess in here, it's been a really busy week, um, I had a lot of stuff yesterday, mostly all yesterday, I bought up like one or two things a day and a couple things on Thursday, but almost everything's from yesterday, we had a community garage sale and I went to, um, and looked at an estate and bought a few things out of an estate when somebody passed, so I'm just going to go through here and show some of the stuff I bought. I got this uh, sealed Goodyear uh, train set, 100 years, and it's in the shipping box, and that was cool. That's 40 bucks, and it's about 100 and a quarter shipped, I think. I got this really nice uh, realistic receiver here. It uh, is in good shape. I haven't fully tested it yet. Um, I got it for 20, and it sells for up to 300 or so shipped. Uh, I bought this sink because it's got a Delta faucet on it that I actually called a friend who needed a Delta faucet looking. So I just kind of bought that for 50 and I told them 60 so I'm only making 10 bucks. Just for that faucet for them. Um, this Kenmore canister vacuum. These are really nice vacuums if you guys don't know this. I gave 20 for it. The power head is not working properly. That's okay because the hose is worth like 40 bucks shipped. And then a lot of times the canister is worth 80 to $100 shipped. So that doesn't matter too much. Now on the table here, uh, this was cool. This was from uh, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. If you want the special edition, it's a Jack in the Box. Sorry, it's a Jack in the Box. And it's Plague Doctor. Uh, a couple bucks for that. And then I got a couple buddies that are interested in it for like $10. Um, MCM cast iron. Enameled. It's a real nice uh, Dutch oven that I bought. Um... I got a buddy that I'm going to take this to here in a little bit. It's got a store here locally. He'll be interested in this. And I get $5 for this Craftsman battery that's worth like $20 shipped or so. Give or take. No big deal. Uh, here's another little Wagner piece here. That was 3 bucks. I take it to my buddy here local with a cast iron. Uh, this was just a, um, a battery pack for... like outside lights and uh it's new and it's like 20 or 30 dollars ship i get two bucks for it just like you know small dumb stuff is good just for you know dumb sales and we got a dvd vcr combo here that i gave five bucks for and the ones that don't record dvds generally sell from around 50 dollars shipped um i bought this uh fire poker set just because a buddy of mine just bought a house and he needed one and asked me to look out, so I grabbed it for him. I did get three of these Corgis for $55. And they're really nice, 150 scale die cast um, semi trucks. There's one. And I've got a couple back here. This one's a sword brand one. Never had that before. And this one's another Corgi. That's real nice. They cleaned up a little bit. They're like um, fifty to a hundred dollars a piece. They're bouncing around a lot. I figured I'd take a chance on them. What else did we get? We got this Thule, uh kayak stacker. That's how you spell that? It's Thule. Um, I get twenty bucks for it. It's used. It's selling for around hundred dollars shipped to use right now. It's not bad. Uh, this was just um, uh, parts case double X knives. There was another case knife that I actually sold to a buddy yesterday that was here when I was unloading. There's some beat up watches in here. Uh, not terrible watches, but they were kind of thrown into a package deal with some other stuff. Um, I also sold a garbage disposal I bought yesterday when I unloaded the vehicle uh, that I don't have here now. Garmin Newbie 2455LT. The garbage probably worth 25 bucks, but the cord is also worth 25 bucks by itself because it is the. Um... Can I not open this? What am I doing? Do you have the dumps? This cord here. 
GMT26. This is the cord that's got like live traffic um, updates. And these cords are around $25 by themselves. So that was a good buy for five bucks. Uh, like $50 for the stuff there. Uh, I gave eight bucks for this Craftsman um, drill press. And it's for your like multi tool. It's for like your dremel tool. I'm pretty sure Craftsman drum, multi tools, dremel tools were made by Dremel. So they should all fit up no problem. And then I got this lathe, uh, this lathe chuck. It's three bar. It was, I, I gave 30 bucks for it. It was made in Toledo. LW Chuck Company. Um, it's around 100, 100 quarter shipped. So it's in good shape. Got a couple tipments. Got a 98 custom for 10 bucks first thing in the morning. They're around $50 shipped or so or more. more. And this one is an old um, Tipman SL68-2 pump that I'd thrown in with some stuff from that estate. Um, and I think they're around $75, so I can't remember. It's been a while since I had one. Uh, and this is a spoiler. That's an OEM spoiler there for a 68 or just a first-hand Camaro, I guess. Um, I picked it up for 10 bucks. It was really cheap because it's probably around 100 to 200 dollars. And it's light, it's fiberglass. I, I could chip it, I could do anything with it I wanted, I guess. Can't want to break it though. For Geely. Uh, I got this big uh, heavy duty burr grinder. It's a little beat up, it's missing some stuff. It was dirt cheap. Uh, it was two bucks. They thought it was an antique, I was laughing. It's probably $100 or so. I don't know what it says now. Oster Pet Grooming Kit. Um, it's probably 30 to 40 bucks. I gave you like three or four dollars for that. Tow charger. Um, I give, I give five for that, I think. It's like 20 or 30 dollars. Small dumb stuff's good sometimes. Kind of like, uh, this, um, digital TV box. It's three bucks. Had the remote and stuff. Usually they don't. So they sell for like 20, 25 dollars shipped that way. Uh, this was free. It's Windows, a uh, Microsoft Office for Windows Office 2007. Um, I think they never used it. I don't know. It was free. If it's got a couple of uses left, it's like 50 bucks or so. I've not sold one in a while. Uh, the Chicago Road Tumblers used. It came with extras. It was $15. They're on 60 bucks shipped. It's Wagner's new. Um, it's around 50 bucks. I probably have 10 bucks in it. I got probably five bucks in this drill doctor here. And this is a XPK. I got a real not model someplace too. But they're $50 or so uh, in good shape. And it's got the manual down the box. But I'll give probably five bucks for that. What else do I have? Got a couple nice razors here. I'm gonna sit down for one sec and open these up. All right, got a nice Wilson Home uh, pipe razor in the pipe razor box. It's like 40 bucks or so. It came with the estate stuff I bought for a bulk price. Then we got a double duck here. Um, double duck's a really good razor. It's a pretty cheap double duck. It's probably the cheapest one I ever had. That's yeah, probably 25 bucks maybe. Uh, got an Imperial from the 60s. A little beat up. It was in the estate stuff. It's worth 10, 15 bucks. I got this Buck 105. In the estate stuff. It's in good shape. It's like a $30 knife. This is the estate. Um, so it was the uh, this guy's super automatics were cheap uh, out the front switchblades. Oh, there we go. And there was some si older silver jewelry. Then I got the estate. This German knife was really nice, except for the first plate is broken, as you can see right there. So that's unfortunate. But I got a buddy that buys parts knives. So I'll be interested in those just for the parts, the handles and stuff. 
And then we're getting to be about almost done here. I did get get two pet safes, and these are the smaller units that I'm using. You don't get these, these stay and play wireless fences. And they bought two transmitters so they can make an oval instead of a circle. So I have two transmitters, I gave $100, and then one collar set up and charged for everything, everything like that. And um, that's like $250 to $300 total. Uh, it's like second hand retail value there. And then I picked up this receiver uh, for 15. It's JVC, it's got the remote and the manual, it's the wrong box. It's around $100 or so, so it was, you know, it's a decent buy. And then as soon as a buddy gets hold of me today, I'll probably have these Sansui's I picked up, so we'll have to pay 10 for them. I'll probably get a quick 60 bucks out of those. And then I also paid 10 bucks for these Pioneers with the same guy, and they're in pretty good shape. Uh, the, the cabinets aren't as nice. Uh, if my speaker buddy's not into those, I can take the speakers out. I can take them to another buddy. Mine's got a store here local and see if he wants them. Shouldn't have a problem, you know, getting 50 bucks out of them either the way they sit because they're, they're decent. Uh, and I picked up this double den, uh, Pioneer for five bucks. They said it's been in the garage for a few years. It worked and they removed it. I haven't tested it out yet. And I gave $15. For this, and this is a UV light uh, test kit for, um, I think I think it's for mechanics, but I think you can probably use it for HVAC too. So it's got a whole bunch of extra stuff in there with it. Um, that's around a hundred dollars. I need to sell it really fast, but you know, it's let's things sit for a while and they sell. It's all right. It's no big deal, and I think that that covers everything. And like, oh yeah, last week I forgot to say. That I bought a kegerator that wasn't in the video. I dropped it off to buddy to get checked out. So thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one.